community resource officers that work with faculty, that work with the students, and the parents that communicate on a day-to-day -day basis. And so they're able to become aware of those interactions of environment incidents that are about to happen and mitigate them. What police say those efforts have led to positive interactions with students through deeper conversations about the negative impacts of crime. Generally, I would say there's been lots of scrutiny and a very uh, intense lens placed on the role of police in a school environment. But I would say conclusively that the police officers were able to build positive, trusting relationships with the kids in non-adversarial situations most of the time. Both the Calgary Board of Education and Catholic School District say student safety is a top priority with supports in place for students and staff who may have witnessed the incident. Tyson Thor, CTV News, Calgary. The CBE could not confirm if the suspect was one of its students. Police have any moment information to come forward or to contact crime stoppers. RCMP has led a first degree murder charge in the killing of a Calgary man whose body was found west of the city. The remains of 33 year old Kyle Sheely were found in early April. Sakina firefighters made the discovery after extinguishing a grass fire in Rocky View County just outside the First Nation. Now police have charged 39 year old Christopher Stack of Calgary. He remains in custody and is scheduled to appear in court later this month. The province has billed it as a fundamental shift in how it delivers health care, and the dismantling of AHS is set to begin soon. The provincial body will soon be separated into four new agencies in an effort to streamline the system. But as the wheels begin to turn, experts worry the transformation could complicate and even dilute patient care. Here's Tim Burke. After months of tinkering and bold promises with this bill tabling Tuesday, the disbanding of Alberta Health Services has officially begun. The amendments proposed in this act are not just bureaucratic changes. They represent a fundamental shift. The changes are huge. AHS will soon be split into four separate health agencies, primary care, acute care, continuing care, and mental health and addiction. The latter arm will be introduced as soon as July. There are approximately 10,000 frontline staff that will be transitioning to recovery in Alberta. Everyone else will be shifted into their new health umbrella this autumn. The province promises existing bargaining relationships and collective agreements will be upheld. There will be no job losses for staff to transition into the new organizations. And every effort is being made to ensure that there are no interruptions to patient care. But this integration is still controversial. In fact, many jurisdictions have gone in the opposite direction and consolidated their authorities. It isn't clear to me how this legislation came from a government that purports to cut red tape. The concern is that there's going to be inadequate coordination between these organizations. Staffing is another worry. Unions say inadequate consultation has their members wondering where they might fit in. The real issues are staffing, workforce issues, capacity, and Albertans' ability to access the care they need. This does nothing to fix any of that. It creates more chaos. The health minister insists the $85 million change will make the system more effective and actually attract staff. Expect to hear more details as the move is rolled out in the coming months. Tim Brooke, CTV News, Calgary. So during the transition period, AHS will continue operating as a regional authority. Eventually, it will shift its focus solely to acute care. We have breaking news from City Hall now. Calgary is moving forward with blanket rezoning. Councillors just approved the strategy moments ago after more than 100 hours of hearings and debate. Our Jordan Cannigan is at City Hall tonight, and joining the decision comes after a marathon meeting. Tara, so this week to get here and more than 730 public speakers, but council just moments ago voted